It's a well-known local secret that the Valley boasts some ex exceptional pizza options from traditional Italian pies to regional varieties. This reputation has only grown recently as Las Vegas now boasts an official world <laughs> pizza champion. And he's joining us right now, Vegas's very own Alex White from Yukon Pizza. Alex, Thank congratulations. You yes. Thank you. Welcome to the show. I know, it's, I know it's a short while ago now, but I mean, I think you've just come off the crest of the wave that you've been riding uh, or it should be maybe it should be dough riding the crest of the dough. The, right, there, yeah, you, the dough there you go. See, so, dad, dad jokes. Yeah, coming through. well, there we go. Well, <laughs> the recent the recent pizza expo that happened in Las Vegas, you were crowned world champion for that. This is clearly the pizza from that. What what what, what did that entail? First of all, I mean, like there are so many competitors, obviously coming from the homeland, from Italy as well. Yep. How does that feel to be recognized as a world champion? It feels amazing. It's a competition that had over 500 competitors from all over the world, from Japan to South America to Europe. You know, it's. You're meeting all kinds of people, all kinds of great pizza makers. I didn't expect to go as far as I did, but be able to go head to head with all those amazing, talented guys and come out on top was definitely like validating and super cool. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that sets Yukon apart is the sourdough yep. crust. So how did that all come to be? So the sourdough started, I'm gonna also build the pie while we talk here of a little course. bit. Yeah. So the sourdough started in my family five generations ago, uh, about the late 1800s at the turn of the century um, in the Klondike or the Yukon territory during the Klondike gold rush. My great-great-grandpa had a general store and sold mining goods and, as well as sourdough. And that sourdough traveled in my family down the west coast over the last 125 years now. Wow. Um, ended up in Southern California with my grandparents, where my parents grew up. I grew up with my dad making us sourdough pancakes and sourdough biscuits every like, weekend. So when I kind of got out into college, I didn't know that sourdough was super special and yeah. not everyone had one in their family. Um, and so as I started to kind of make more and more stuff with it at my home, I got into pizza making. I really wanted to share sourdough pizza. And this was back in 2010. There wasn't a whole lot of home sourdough pizza makers out there. So I was kind of making my own way and trying to share it. And then fast forward a few years, pandemic happens. My wife and my brother and I decided we start selling pizzas out of our backyard just to help out the people who are waiting at home during lockdown. And then all of a sudden, we're in a shared kitchen space. We're selling to the public. And Yukon is born. Yukon is born. This before, is yeah. wow. This is what great. An incredible story. Because you know, a lot, a lot of families they'll pass down a you know a piece of jewelry or some furniture. But in your family, it was a sourdough starter, which, yep. which I, this, that's incredible. So it's not just the sourdough base. It's not just that starter that sets you apart. You've got to have great toppings to go on that base too. This is clearly. Is this the pizza that you won the world the world championship with? This is our grapes of thrash pie that I won the championship with. So it features the mozzarella fontina and mortadella base with uh, the grilled balsamic grapes, which makes it the kind of standout special part. Then I finish it with almonds pistachio. We've got the burrata, basil mint, some smoked salt, and some lemon zest here with some Parmesan as well. So we're going to finish it off right now and cut it up for you guys. Ooh. Yeah, that's well, this is a powerful one. combination. So how do you sort of come up with all these different creations and flavors and figuring out what really works with what? This one for me was being inspired by like one of my favorite snacks that I like to have when I'm like camping or hanging out and relaxing with my wife. I love like uh, toasted almonds and red grapes. It's a very simple, like kind of healthy, but satisfies the crunchy and the sweet. And so I kind of wanted to take that and turn it into a pizza. And after a couple months of kind of R&D and messing around with different combinations, I came up with this pie. Um, and it's been a special kind of fun journey to go on to discover like all the different flavors and stuff. I, th I think this is a, this yeah. is a great representation and, or a microcosm of what Vegas is experiencing right now with its pizza explosion. Traditionally, people would be talking about pepperoni or sausage, mm -hmm. you know, having an argument about, about pineapple. But we have almond and pistachio, mint, burrata, mortadella. It's a lot. This incredible. Why, why do you think you know, the pizza explosion is happening right now in Vegas with people like yourself, these kind of you know, appreciated and accepted dishes as opposed to the traditionals? What is happening right now here? There's, I mean, the pizza has, is having a heyday right now. Everywhere is, everywhere, there's a lot of backyard pizza makers, pop-up pizzerias going on. Las Vegas itself is a great pizza town. We have so many awesome pizzerias and pizza makers here, all of them, you know, champions in their own right. But also we're on the West Coast and the West Coast has been known for having a little bit more flair and creativity with their style of pizzas. So I'm really, I'm from California, that's where I was born. So I'm really leaning into the California West Coast style pizza, which is a very herby, over the top style pizza instead of something that's more traditional. Well, thank you so much for coming in. We're yeah. definitely going to bite into this when we go to commercial here. To learn more or to plan your visit to their restaurant, be sure to head to yukonpizza.com.